How to add self roles on Discord. Adding self assigned roles on Discord allows members to customize their experience by choosing roles that reflect their interests or identities. So, here is how we are going to do it. First things first, just go ahead and look for carl.gg on any browser. So this is going to be the bot that we are going to be using. We're going to go ahead and click login with Discord. And then we're just going to have to authorize this one. Alright, after doing so, we're going to go ahead and select a server where we are going to add this. So I'm going to choose this one right here. Alright, click continue. And then we're going to go ahead and authorize this once again. All right, we're going to check. All right, so now that we have added Carlbot, we're going to go ahead and start creating our own roles. So I'm going to click this one right here, click create roles, and then we're just going to go ahead and add a new role. So the role is going to be, say, for example, dancers, just like so. I'm just going to go ahead and proceed with this one right here. I'm going to choose blue in this case, for example. And then for the new role, we're going to add another one. We're going to name it singer, say, for example. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and choose some color. We're going to change this one. All right, just say for example like that. Now, if you want to add an image, you can go ahead and click this one here to customize your own image. However, you need to have a server boost for this one to continue. But anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and proceed with that. And then I'm going to go ahead and click this one right here. Display role members separately from online members the same thing here and then we're going to save the changes all right now that we are done we're going to close this one and then you're going to go ahead and follow this simple step here just go ahead and type here reaction role and then make all right now which channel would you like the message to be in so go ahead and choose the channel that you want to i'm just going to go ahead and use a general for example all right, and then we're going to go ahead and basically follow this one right here. So the title is going to be roles, and then we're going to go ahead and choose, um, say, this one, for example. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and choose the color. So we're going to click this one right here, and then we're going to choose a color picker. All right, so the first one is going to be red, for example. So I'm just going to copy this one right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and paste it here. Click enter. All right, so this time we're going to go ahead and choose the emoji. And we're going to go ahead and put here dancers just like so. All right, as you can see, it worked like that. So this is an indication that it is basically working. Now we're going to do the same thing for the other one. So we're going to add the singers. And I'm just going to go ahead and put it here. And there you go. So you can see that it is working. Now we're just going to go ahead and type done. And now we have here the two roles that are created. So from this point forward, you can go ahead and test this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and proceed to my other account. So this one right here, I'm going to go ahead and log in. So how are we going to do this one? We're going to go ahead and just basically choose by reacting to this one, say for example. All right, as you can see, now I have become a dancer. Now say for example, I want to undo it and I want to become a singer. I can just go ahead and click this one and you can see that now I have become just like that. So yep, that is how you're going to add your own self-assigned roles. Congratulations everybody, I hope you learned something from this tutorial. And as always, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave this video a like if it helps you out.